In this video, I am going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your HP LaserZ Pro MFP 3101 FDW laser printer. Let's do the unboxing. That's our HP laser printer. Remove the protective tape. Power cable goes at the back. The printer comes with pre-installed ink toner. So we can just check here. It's already installed. Switch on the printer. So press the power button. It will take few minutes for the initial startup. Go to the printer display panel. Select your language. Confirm. Select your country of residence. There are three methods to use this printer. So you can use it over the Wi-Fi. You can use the Ethernet cable or you can use the USB or connect later. So we are just going to use the wireless method. Click on it. It will display the list of Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi. Enter the password. Once you enter the password, press OK to apply. Printer is connected. Press OK. Next step is to set the date and time, continue, select time, continue, click next for the update. If you want you can select the auto update, that's the important thing or you can just select notify or do not check, click continue. Next step is to load the paper tray. So that's the paper tray at the bottom. So we can just slide it out from both sides. Adjust the size. Load the paper. Once you install it, you can adjust the size from here. Close it, click on the modify, select paper size, letter size, paper type, plain and click done. Ink toner is already pre-installed so press ok. That's the main screen of our printer, we can start using it for copy. For scanning we can scan to USB as it has a USB slot just in the front so we can save the scan into the USB. For printing you can also use the USB and print photos or documents. You can also do the fax setup and you can use it for the fax. Let's add this printer in a device for wireless printing and scanning. I'm going to add this printer in a smartphone. You can use Android phone, iPhone. Go to the HP Smart app. You can download this app from the app store. 
in the app we have to add the printer so click on the plus button on the top select the first option set up a new printer get started select the second option finish setup add a printer that's already set up complete now it will display HP LaserZ Pro MFP 3101 to 3108 series select your laser printer instantly it will add up it will also display the estimated level of ink left in the toner and we are ready to use it for wireless printing and scanning for example to print a document you can just select any document you have in your phone open a file or document click on the print preview on the next screen scroll up and make sure that your printer is showing up there all the details are here we can increase the number of copies if you want to do the two-sided you can select two-sided long edge click on the print Let's see the print result. So it has printed on the both sides, and I just made two copies of this. So that means our printer is connected and it's working. Next step is to do the wireless scanning. You can use the scanner bed to scan passport, ID, or any other document. If you want to scan multiple pages. You can use the ADF tray, place the pages here, go to your smartphone, select scan or you can just scroll up and click on the printer scan. If you want you can change the DPI, so I am just going to change it to 300, select if you want color and input source automatic or if you want you can also select manually like document feeder click done click on the scan icon scan is done wait for the scan to appear you can see both pages are available this way we can do the scanning and if you want to save it click on this icon you can give a name to your file and then if you want to change it you can change the file type basic PDF you can use it as an image or JPEG once you are ready go back select the file size you can use smaller size medium large or actual so lots of options click on the save on the next screen just select where do you want to save it go to the home button so this way we can do the wireless printing and scanning of this printer with the smartphone if you want to do the copy you can use scanner bed or ADF tray for the copy for example I am just going to copy these pages, go to the printer display panel, click on the copy icon, select if it is a document or ID. We can also do the two sided copy with this printer. Once we are ready, click on the copy. copy is done so you can see it has printed on the both sides and you can also copy ID with this printer to copy the ID open the lid place the ID card facing right hand side corner with the front side down go to the main screen click on the copy 
select id card select what kind of orientation you want and then click on the copy we already placed the id card so click on the continue next step is to scan the second side open the lid place it here so that's done click on the continue so it's going to scan and print let's see the print result perfect the id is printed on the same side of the page and perfectly automatically it will just do for us that's a good feature of the printer it can do the two-sided printing two-sided copy you can also scan multiple pages using the ADF tray this printer is also compatible with the Windows laptop MacBook you can also use it with the Chromebook if you want to know how to set up this printer with other devices you can watch my video on that moreover if you don't have a home or office Wi-Fi network you can use the USB cable and you have to wire that cable separately it doesn't come with the printer hopefully you enjoy the video thanks for watching